Today's video is sponsored by High C Boots. Please use the Amazon link in the description with the code CRISP15 to get 15% off your order. Well, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So we're leaving the marina right now, heading down the ocean. Well, my friend Kevin's boat today. Good morning. So plan for today is get on some squid. That's right. We're looking to get squid for both bait for the rest of the year here for a variety of different fish. And I love eating squid and so does Kevin. So we want to catch some squid to bring home to eat as well. To catch the squid, we'll be using this jig type thing right here. There's no hooks on it. It uh, has little prongs. Once we get out there, I'll show you a little bit more how to rig it up, but not really much to it. And we're going to be putting the underwater camera on it. Um, we should have some good visibility here today. And I'd love to see those squid down there and hopefully big schools of them and attacking our uh, little jig there. So once we get our squid, we'll then pivot to uh, the rockfish area. Uh, right now we're south of Pigeon Point. It's important to know that the rockfish is closed in close um, in the Bay Area. But yeah, south of Pigeon Point, you can uh, fish in shallower for Lincoln rockfish. So we're down south of the Pigeon Point today. We'll be going for some Lincoln with the live squid and lots of underwater camera action today. All right, looking forward to film this one and get out there. All right, so here we go. It's unboxed now. Little prongs. Underwater camera. Definitely marking them. Looks like 100 feet down. So I don't know how the visibility will be. All right, I have a six ounce weight on. You will quickly notice how many squid are around today. To catch the squid, you want to feel for them, and when you feel the extra weight, don't stop reeling. The camera on the top of my jig is heavy and makes it a little more challenging to feel the squid. Watching this footage gives you a great understanding how they attack the jig. They don't hold for long, but attack in numbers. This is my first drop of the year, and you can see I surely could have done better. It just takes a few drops to get in the groove. Luckily, it's squirming with water and not ink. They're just on the surface, aren't they? Yeah, they're not very far down. This one yet. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, oh! 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 The perfect stringer. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> that guy got me. I saw the black ink coming. I, I, how bad is it? Bad. Is it? <laughs> oh gosh. Mm -hmm. uh. It's bad.
Wow, feels like we have to have close to 200 squid by now. This is incredible. Look how dirty the boat is. I mean, just ink everywhere. Even up on the little kicker up there. Got squirted in the face. <laughs> So I think it's a good time to uh, show you guys today's video sponsor. It's High C. They've provided me with these boots today. They're really comfortable, waterproof, slip resistant. So I'm really excited to get these. These are their mid-calf, and then they make a higher boot. I like how there's a pool on either side, you know, to get it on there. Sometimes you're wearing thicker socks, and it's harder to get them on. So it slides on right there. And then it has this little uh, kick right here, so easier to take them off. So you just put your other one on there. And slide them off. If you guys use the code CRISPY15 at checkout, you'll get 15% off your order. Thank you, Joe, uh, again, Hi C, for providing me with some boots today. All right, we're going to get pretty closer to the end on the squid fishing, transition over the rockfish. But before we do that, we're going to do a little competition. First one to 15? Okay, 15. All right, first one to get 15. Ready? Yep, go down. Ah, one. Seven. I lost it on that side. Eight, nine, ten. Ten to how many do you have? Three. Ten to three. I need a big load. Four. Five. Eleven. Five. Twelve. Thirteen. So 13 to 5. And this is how we're going to determine how many squid we each get when we divide this up by the ratio of what we're catching. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I just recently lost a touch here. 7. 8. 9. 10. 11. 12. 13 to what? 7. 13 to 7. There we ah. go. We're in the boat. Ah. Winner. 15 7. So I get. Two thirds of the. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got another full thing. All right, well, done squidding now. Kevin's bringing up the last few right now. It is stuffed. I don't know if it's 10 or 15 gallons or whatever it is, but several hundred in there has to be. So we'll be eating a lot of those and then also saving a lot for bait. But for right now, we'll go see at the rockfish grounds and we're going to drop those down and hopefully get on some link cod. All right, so we're in the spot for the link cod. We're probably gonna get a lot of rockfish too because they're gonna want to eat these squid. Kev, you want to show them your your rig? So basically our halibut rig. So he'll have a, a hook and a treble hook down there. You see it? Yeah. There it goes. All right, so this is the rig I'm using. Uh, because I have the underwater camera, I'm using like a rockfish rig compared to where Kevin's. The bait went really far out. That'd probably be preferred, but because um, I want the underwater camera footage with the bite We're using like this rockfish rig and so I uh, have the bait on there and yeah we should be able to see the squid pretty good and then I wanted to mention that I have a piece of uh, 20 or 25 pound test right there and then also ow, a little uh, safety piece down there where the weight is this last two inches is again lighter weight so if we get snagged up uh, you know hopefully we don't lose the camera and we lose our weight or the rig.
spelled R. Oh, oh, heaven. Man, I lost mine. Now Kevin's on. What's he? <laughs> it's a big rock fish. Nice. Yeah, it's a big one. Gotta make sure it's not a yellow eye. Yeah, that's a bird. Oh, wow. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yep. That is a nice wow. one. Wow, that is a good one. Okay, I'm up. All right. So we moved off the rocks. We figured out which way we're drifting now. You know, on your first drift, you're figuring out which way the boat will move. So now we'll get a longer drift on this second one. This is a, probably a, looks like a uh, link out, hopefully. I was reeling up and he went up for it. It'd be a cool video, I guarantee you. Oh yeah, you got the camera on there, huh? Yeah, but I was reeling up to check my bait. <laughs> and he bit it halfway up. That's a huge. I don't think I can No, I have a link hot on. Oh, I can't do that. Crap, I'll get him in a minute. He's floating with his kitchen. outside a little bit more. Nice. There we go. Got him. We got our fish. There we go. Boccaccio. You know, there's this, uh, oh man, what is this called? Yellowtail? Rockfish. That's a nice one. Yeah, no, it's, it's big. Yeah, big fish. Okay. Lift it up and throw it in the boat. Measure it. 
I think it's 21 or something. Oh, maybe 22. It's gimme. It's close. Damn. It's so close. Short by quarter inch. Short by quarter. Gimme. This one's about an inch bigger than Kevin's. Oh, I don't know, I think it's a lot bigger than that. Oh, look at that. I'll keep this on. Yep. Yeah, good job. Dude. Nice one. Sometimes these are the best baits to get a good link cod. My personal bass, 34 incher, was used on an octopus regurgitated by another link cod. Let's throw that down. Dude, look at my bait. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Job. What was I saying about PBs and using octopus? <laughs> Dude, that's a fatty. Yeah, that thing's nice. With the octopus hanging inches. there. Nice one. Good job, Chris. You can delete the gaff shot. <laughs> All right, let's give the link call to measure here. Our wavy. Our board yeah. goes to 30 inches. I think this one's a little past that. Yep. 32. About, yeah, 32 inch or so two inches shy of my personal best. But we're in rock right now, right? Yeah, I know we're fine, we're right. You get some something, man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Good job. I'm gonna reel this in just a touch. I'm gonna it. You got one? Yeah. But it might be a TV. I don't want to take that. Kev needs to fill a lane today. Yeah. Well, I have little ones. Oh, yeah. Feels like a big one, huh? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Good stuff. Good job. They love these octopus. <laughs> Look at that fish in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. All right. All right. Well, as we're getting ready to clean up here, Kev's on another fish. He thinks it's a link cod. If it is, we'll let this one go. Watch it be real big. He's a good one. Oh, yeah. See him? Nice. Oh, that was good. We'll be letting this link hod go as we have four on the boat. That's a nice one too. We'll just leave them in the water because we're releasing them, but that's uh, 27 inches. Nice sling. There it goes. There you go. Hey, it's nice to get an illegal one today. I got one. Well, we got what we came for. A ton of squid and our limit of link cod big one was 32 the smallest was 24 so i'm guessing the other two are like 26 ish but beautiful link cod i think they're all the blue meat ones just make them look a little prettier but great day out here had a lot of fun on your boat today kev awesome thanks, great. thanks for having me out here uh if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and we'll catch you on the next one all right later guys